Kathy Ann Lewis, once again, bringing you a faith lift. And one of the things that drags us down, not allowing faith to lift us up. See, when, we're, when we have hope and we put our faith in that hope, we rise above petty concerns. It's just the way it works. I, 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 I know I'm not going to get the quote totally right, but I, will, I know I'm going to get the gist of this quote, and it's by um, Carl Jung. And he said, <laughs> he said, one of the best ways to get a person over a problem is to just give them a bigger problem. <laughs> And if you think about it, isn't that true? You can get so concerned over little things. But boy, once once something happens that is really significant in your life, these petty things show up for what they really are. Not a big deal. And we can worry about a big deal. Like we can worry if if a pipe breaks in our home and like, who do I call and, and how quickly will they get it done? But when we start to worry about things that haven't happened, that really chips away at the quality of life that we live. I got this wonderful email recently from a congregant, and he talks about how great his life is. He's 87, he's financially set, he's in a loving relationship, he does things that he loves to do, he volunteers in places he, he believes in. In other, I'll read this. In other words, I've got a great life. But hardly a day goes by that I don't slide into, proverbial, into the proverbial slippery slope of worry. I worry that this life that I have isn't going to last. I worry that I might get sick or injured. I worry that something of some sort will disturb this wonderful life. Well, but it's not yet. And things will happen. And yes, you might get sick. And yes, you may get injured. And we all have to deal with those things as they come, but to worry about them before they come is to chip away at the quality of life. Now, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of things together, but they're all making sense to me now. A long time ago, there was a, a gentleman who taught kind of a mind science, and he would say that when you imagine something you don't want, what you say to yourself is cancel, 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 so that you are blocking that idea from growing in, in your consciousness. I've also studied just recently some neuroscience on how the brain works. And if a brain has a certain reaction to things, it will continue to have a reaction to things until that reaction gets so deep, so many synapses in our brain, and I'm going to use a metaphor, it's like building a trench, you know, just kind of barely a line and then a little, maybe an inch deep, and then the more you do it, the trench gets deeper and deeper and deeper until finally you have the Grand Canyon of thought process. <laughs> and the mind will continue on that path, just like the mind is continuing with, with our gentleman friend, of worry, okay, I'm 87, I should worry, I should worry about this, I should worry about that. And the brain goes, okay, let's worry, you think I'll worry. Well, there's a way to stop that, and that is to actually just say, stop. <laughs> Does that remind you of the old song? Stop in the name of love, or it might just be stop in the name of life. You can actually do that. I mean, people don't think it could be that simple, but it could be that simple. You start to worry, no, stop. See, we think that the mind is us. No, 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 no. We have a mind. It's not who we are. Who we are is that which decides. Who we are is that which observes. Who we are is that which experiences. And so when the brain or the mind goes off and the mind is operating through our brain, the more it goes off, the more we think that's who we are and I can't control it. Yes, you can, stop. I was uh, studying under a, a, a woman who lives on the East Coast, and sometimes when, when the volunteer clients would be working with her and they were going off on a tangent, she'd say, stop. Which gave them that moment, that holy gap of redeciding. There is a holy gap where you get to choose what you're going to do with the next thought. You get to choose. Once you stop, 
And that brings me to a Bible verse that says, Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But I would just rephrase that a little bit and say, choose you this day whom you will serve. Will you serve your fears? Will you serve your worry? Or will you serve your hope? And will you build your faith? It's a, it's a, it's a moment by moment decision. But you can't decide if you go off deeper and deeper into that rut, that, that channel of thinking. But you can say, stop. No, I won't go there. I'm not, I know, not today, not this moment. I will not go there. And then after you've stopped and you have that moment of clarity and that, that holy gap of decision-making, then what I'm also have read in so many different traditions is put your mind on what you want to experience. Put your mind on what you want to experience. I've read, that's, that's, that's comes out of scriptures. It comes out of mind science. It comes out of psychology. It's just good thinking. It's just good thinking. And our life is shaped by the thoughts we entertain, but we entertain them. We're not our thoughts, but we certainly entertain them. So, Hope that helps. Thank you for sending me questions lately. I'm really grateful. And I hope that I can serve all of you um, by answering someone's question. And certainly the person who asked. Bye for now. There is just one mind. That mind is God's mind. That mind is perfect, that mind is my mind now, right now. There is just one life, that life is God's life, that life is Infinite spirit, ever flowing, ever within me, ever growing. Infinite wisdom, ever shows the way. There is just one love, that love is God's love. That love is perfect, that love flows through me now, right now. There is just one heart, that heart is God's heart, that heart spirit ever flowing ever within me ever growing infinite wisdom ever shows the way there is just one mind that mind is God's mind that mind There is just one love.
than its spirit, ever flowing, ever within me, ever growing, infinite wisdom, ever shows the way. There is just one.